est prête. Rends les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. What's going on everyone? It is Sunday in Buenos Aires. We're gonna do some exploring of the city. We will get to the story about this little guy, this little guy, in a little bit. Getting a little bit of lunch. Eating alone is getting a little bit old on this trip. So hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna schedule something where I can go eat with a lot of other people that are visiting Buenos Aires and that'll be a little bit better to have a little bit more conversation as I don't think I've spoken English other than to you guys in two days. And I'm not saying you shouldn't travel by yourself. You really should. There's a lot of good things you learn about yourself when you are alone and you get to think. And it doesn't hurt that Argentina is a beautiful country. Check out this boat. Heading over to this ecological reserve that I went to back in April when I was here, hoping I can get the drone in the air. We're not doing that today. Okay, so apparently there's a government election going on today. That's why that ecological reserve is closed. Still gonna fly somewhere though. The guy back there was trying to explain to me that because of this government election that's going on today, there's not going to be a lot open, which is going to be kind of a bummer because I was looking to get into a couple different places today, do a little sightseeing. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do that. Election day seems to be a big deal. The, the whole country seems to be kind of shut down. There's not as many people out and about. It's not the presidential election, it is the election for the legislators. So like our Congress, our Senate, stuff like that. 
Although these guys over here playing soccer look like they're having a great time. Okay, story time. So yesterday I was up on the roof uh, at the pool flying my smaller drone, this little guy who I call Rocket. A um, little bit different than my bigger drone who is referred to as Daedalus. Hold on. Daedalus, big drone, small drone. Two different ways they communicate between the controller and the drone itself. And Flying along, just getting some awesome clips, and all of a sudden, on the controller, starts beeping. No. Ah. It says it disconnected from the drone. And the drone's about, I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet above my head, and it shoots off to the side, and then it starts descending and I don't have control of it, it lost connection at that point. So here I am on the eighth floor, on the rooftop at the pool, and this guy is slowly descending to its doom. Right there is me, right here is where it landed. So I start panicking, run down the stairs, running to the alleyway where it's descending into hoping that nobody is underneath it. So I ran down to find it hovering right here in this spot. And all it's doing is sitting in the alleyway, hovering, and still recording. So here's some of the footage from this little guy's uh, descent to doom. trying to pull the logs and find out what exactly happened but I believe what happened is that it had a compass configuration problem and didn't know its positioning so therefore instead of returning to home where it took off which was right next to me bit of a difference DJI for return to home it went 15 to 20 feet to my left and then started descending slowly and then past that I don't know what happened quite yet um, Seems that there was some interference that interfered between the controller, controller and the drone itself. But mini heart attack, wasn't a good feeling. Luckily there was nobody around it or underneath it, except for this little kid that had the greatest time um, watching this thing come down. And when you're in a place like this, you gotta check out the hotel pool.
I'm pretty sunburned and I'm heading to dinner, so I'm gonna leave you with some of the cinematography from last night's little mishap.